Okay, what I've got is a standard meat thermometer, nothing fancy. Its top uh, degree rating is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but it estimates once it gets over to where it says beef well, pork, that's about 350 degrees, and as it comes around to where it says beef rare, that would be close to 400 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lens on it and see how fast this meter moves. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, it's already up to 400. It's coming around. All right, I'm gonna shut it off because I don't know how much this meter can take, but it's, holy cow. It's coming back around again. Okay, I'm shutting the lens off. Hello? This is a small steam engine that I purchased off of eBay. Uh, I've tested it with air and it works fine. I've got the hose hooked up to the import valve and I am currently using a Fresnel lens to boil water in a 12 ounce beer bottle. I only have the bottle half full because I want there to be a nice column of steam to form inside. Uh, there's a little bit of a leak. This is not very scientific, but I want to see if I can get a couple rotations out of this, I'll be happy. Our test has been running for exactly one minute and the water is in a boil right now. What we're looking for is for the temperature to go above that and hopefully the bottle won't blow up on me. All the water inside the bottle is at a full boil. You can see now two minutes in the water is at a roaring boil inside the bottle. pressure coming out of the top. Boil and there is uh, some pressure coming out of the top. That was encouraging. We are getting some pressure because the uh, the engine is turning slightly. And we are getting steam out of the top of the bottle. Wow, that was that was very good. This engine is running completely off of the sun right now.
Okay, we've got a leak right here where we're losing a lot of our power, so we're not getting full compression from the steam. But it is still creating enough pressure to leak out of there and lightly power our engine. Uh, that sucks. Okay, you can see the water's going really crazy inside that bottle. There we go. The sun right now. And he's it e it's even fighting resistance. I'm pushing, so you could drive something, a very small engine off of this. I'm gonna stop it and see if it starts on its own. Picking up speed, makes a nice nail file. Okay, I'm going to stop it and allow the pressure to build up. Right now, right now I'm applying resistance of um, maybe half a quarter pound. This is just a simple piece of plastic hose. And keep in mind we still have a leak right there. So if we didn't have that leak, this thing would have a lot more power. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook a small, uh, very small engine up to this and uh, see what we can get out of it in the next video. Oh shit, our bottle just exploded. Whoa. Well, that ended that test, but it does work. What I'm probably going to do is opt for a larger steel pipe and a fitting that allows us to regulate the pressure because I know I've tested this engine with uh, 100 pounds of pressure from a compressor and it spins so fast you can't even uh, chop your finger off if you put it, got it in the sprocket. So I believe we could get that. Wow, look at this. Our bottle is catching sunlight right now and it's still going.